हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम खान सरवत अंजुम साइंस टीचर श्री सरस्वती भुवन हाई स्कूल औरंगाबाद टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सेकंड हेरिडिटी एंड इवोल्यूशन गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एवरी फैक्ट इज बेस्ड ऑन एविडेंस एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी evidences of evolution in today's lecture we will see morphological evidences anatomical evidences and vestigial organs evidences of evolution collective thinking upon all above mentioned theories implies that evolution is everlasting process of changes now also in our body evolution takes place as it is very slow process however it needs proof to prove it following are the various proofs available support of the theories mentioned above there are different types of evidences morphological evidence anatom anatomical evidences paleontological evidences embryological evidences connecting links all these are the evidences by which we can say that it evolution take took place and it is also taking place it is a continuous process spontaneous process now we will see all the evidences one by one number 1 morphological evidences first of all we should know that what is meant by morphology actually morphology means the structure of that object external appearance or the external structure of that animal or that plant is called as a morphology for example morphology of leaf morphology of flower then if uh, we have to told if we want to say that morphology of flower then we will see how many petals are there how many sepals are there the shape of the sepal this is the this is called the morphology of flower or morphology morphology means the external structure or appearance shape etc for example we can see different types of structures and appearance in animals and in plants also in your book one activity is given observe the following image and note the similarities between the given uh, given images in that image first row is of animals three animals are given there and uh, another is the image of plants just note down the various similarities various similarities like structure of mouth position of eyes structure of nostrils and ear pinna and thickly distributed hair on the body are seen in animals see all they look like very much similar to each other they also have much similarity in their structures that is in their morphology from this we can say that all these animals may have the same origin they are evolved from the same ancestor in another picture some plants are shown here also similarities in the leaf shape the leaf shape is the somewhat oval elongated shape is there lamina is, lamina of that leaf is the same near about same similarly venation you all know that venation 
वेरिएशन मींस द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ द वेंस ऑफ द लीफ वी ऑल नो दैट देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ वेरिएशन रेटिकुलेट एंड पैरेलल इन डाइकॉट्स रेटिकुलेट वेरिएशन इज देयर एंड इन ऑल दिस प्लांट्स वी आर सीइंग दैट रेटिकुलेट वेरिएशन इज देयर इट इज रेटिकुलेट टाइप all these have small petiole petiole is the part by which leaf is joined with the branch or stem actually these three plants are different but here they show similarity among them from this we can also say that they evolve from the same ancestor that is their ancestor may be the same this indicate that there are some similarity in those groups and hence it proves that their origin must be same and must have common ancestor and this is called as a morphological evidences we can see similarity in morphology of some plants or in animals and from that we can identify or we can give free proof to we can give proof that they come from the same ancestor second type of evidence is the anatomical evidence anatomy is the internal working of something or internal structure now observe the given picture inside if you carefully observe the picture there doesn't seem any superficial similarity between human hand cat's fore leg flipper of well and pentagium of bat similarly use of each is different in human being Le- hand is used for the handling or uh, in a uh, cat's for for leg is used for running after that flipper of well is used for swimming and pentagium of bat is used for flying that means actually use or function of all these is different external structure of all these is also different but if you observe it carefully the internal structure of the bones and the joints of the bones and bony joints they have similarity in them they have similarity in them this similarity indicates that those animal may have common ancestor now we can see some more pictures also we show here anatomical evidences human body parts you all know that human in your book two questions are asked here can you tell which are the different organs in the body of organism second is each of the organ useful f- to the organism now for for some time we will we will consider that human body see the slide there is different types of organs are there which are they brain is there heart is there brain heart lung kidneys intestine different types of uh, organs are there in the body are they all useful here yes these organs are useful but sometimes such may be happen that some organs are there in our body but they are not in use as any organ is present in our body it must have some use but some organs are yet there they do not show any function in our body 
then why we, they are in our body? Yes, they were useful in the ancestors. In our ancestors, they were functioning, they were in use. But now, as our environment change, as our uh, all the habits get changed, as our food change, these organi these organs are become useless. See, we will see, and such or such organs are called vestigial organ. Now we will talk about some vestigial part or organs in our body. Then what is the definition of the vestigial organ? Degenerated or underdeveloped useless organ of organisms are called vestigial organs. That means they are degenerating slowly. As evolution is taking place, these organs, if they are not used, they are getting degenerating. See, when any organism have to adapt in change condition, change environment, some things, some changes may be there. But these changes may not appear in e immediately. As it is a slow process, the changes also may take, changes also may be there very slowly. In living organism, sudden development of new tissues or organ for living in changing environment is not possible. Instead, existing organs undergo gradual change. Mostly a specific structure, the structure in the body is useful under certain situation. However, same structure under different situation may become useless or harmful. Such structure begins to generate under such situation. As per the principle of natural selection. It takes thousands of years for a structure to disappear. Such organs are seen in different phases of dis disappearance in different animals. Such organ, though non-functional in certain organism, it may be functional in other organisms. That is, it is not vestigial in other organisms. Appendix. I think you, everyone hear this word appendix. Appendix which is the useless in human being. Actually it is a part of the large intestine. It is useful full and fully function in the or a functional organ in ruminants like goat, cow, buffalo. Similarly, muscles of ear pinna, which are useless in human, but are useful in monkeys for the movement of ear pinna. Various vestigial organs like tailbone, as our ancestors had tail, and for supporting that, tailbone was there. Now we do not have tail, but bone is there, tail bone is there. Wisdom teeth. Wisdom teeth is also one type of teeth, which is not in use nowadays, but in our ancestors, as they used to eat raw materials and very hard substances, they use that wisdom teeth and body hairs are present in our body of the human being. Students, today we completed morphological evidences, anatomical evidences and vestigial organs. And tomorrow's lecture, we will talk about paleontological evidences, connecting links and embryological evidences.